Well, ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. Marvel's Eternals is here, and this is going to be my spoiler-free review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So finally, we get the first look at Eternals. We finally get to see the movie. We finally get to dive into this movie. Full disclosure, this movie was not getting great reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, but I kept telling everybody, you have to make your own decision. Don't let other people's reviews, and that even goes for my review. Don't give my review the don't take that as the end all be all if you're interested in the movie if i give it a negative review then still go see the movie if i give it a positive review and you're not looking forward to it then don't go see the movie make up your own mind you should never take someone's review as the gospel you should always make up your own mind if you're looking forward to the movie then go see the movie always make up your own mind so i just got out of seeing eternals and i gotta be honest with you yes i did have that raw tomato score in the back of my mind i was like man 51 percent that's not really good and it's a two and a half hour movie i knew that this was going to be a very character driven story driven dense movie this wasn't going to be the normal mcu movie that we normally get from marvel studios and kevin feige we got a oscar nominated director here a director who does a lot of artsy films and we're going to get this different type of marvel movie and they have a lot of different characters and a lot of different backstories to touch on in this movie and i left the theater very pleasantly surprised. I left this theater really enjoying this movie a lot. Is this the best Marvel Studios movie ever? No, it's not the best Marvel Studio. It's not Infinity War. It's not Winter Soldier. It's not Black Panther. But I will come out and say this is better than Black Widow. This is better than Shang-Chi. This is a lot better than more than half of the MCU movies that we have gotten lately, and I think there's a lot of really good stuff in here. The character developments with these characters are some of the best. We got great actors like Angelina Jolie, Selma Hayek. We got great actors in this movie that does a great job. People like Richard Madden, who plays Icarus, and he's a fantastic character. And so much, this movie has so many different layers. It hits on so many different plot points. Um, should godlike creatures, you know, really step into human stuff and deal with humanity problems and what is right and what is wrong and you see where that kind of you know puts a drift between these characters and they go different ways because they have different ideals of what they should do with their powers and even though they have these powers what is the right thing and what is the wrong thing and there's a lot of different methods and and a lot of different tones of that in this movie on what is right what is wrong what it's like to be these eternals these godlike figures these immortals and i really like that i like how these characters fit in the mcu how they easily explained where they were during the events of the last 10 years of the mcu why they weren't infinity war why they weren't in endgame and overall it was just it, it blew my mind. Like the first 20 minutes of this movie, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this movie. I'm, I'm not know if I'm liking it. And then one thing happens about 20 minutes into the movie where the characters are kind of arguing with themselves on what is the right thing for them to do. And I was like, from that point on, I just like, I'm in this movie. I'm in with this movie. And I'm in with these characters. And I ended up liking every single character in this movie. The one character I did not like was the, the little girl, the little redhead girl, Sprite. Um, I wasn't a big fan of her. I don't feel like she really contribute a whole lot to the movie but every other character was so well thought out so well written and done so well with the actors performances as the special effects i thought were really really good um the action scenes when we did have action scenes it was fantastic and the one thing i appreciate the most with this movie was when something happened that was very emotional they didn't cut away with a joke i hate when there's an emotional scene marvel studios has a real bad habit lately of cutting to a joke so we're not really dealing with the, the whole amount of 
you know, the, the amount of sadness and what it means. It, it puts real feeling into that. And there's a lot of heartfelt stuff in this movie. And when the characters go through something very heartfelt and dramatic and, and very heartbreaking, you feel that. You feel the weight of their emotions on screen. And all the actors just did a fantastic job in this movie. Uh, this is definitely... Right now, it's hard to say. I don't want to say because I, I don't want to give this knee jerk reaction because I just left the theater. I really have to sit and let this movie marinate for a while. But I do feel like this is in my top ten MCU movies. Right again, this is not your Infinity War, your Winter Soldiers, or your Black Panthers. But this is a very, very well thought out, well written, well acted, and well directed movie. And I like the underlining tones. A movie to me, a good movie is something that I'm thinking about. After I leave the theater, if I'm leaving the theater and I'm still thinking about like, yeah, you know, they did this because of this and they did this because of that. Well, why didn't they do that because of that? Well, they had no choice, you know, and it has me thinking about it. The more I think about a movie, the more I really like the movie because it has me thinking thinking about it it's on my mind and overall i just thought eternals i don't agree with the critics in this case uh, this is a much different film than we've gotten in the mcu this is a film that is story driven rather than action and jokes driven and i really enjoyed this i really want to see where the eternals go and i want to see what's the future of these characters so guys that's my review of eternals be sure to leave those comments in the comment box below be sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and until next time as always i'm robert storms and that's my opinion